So, Ian, today we're going to be talking about some uh, eliminating spits using some pretty cool, or a pretty cool product from Graco. What do you have today that we're going to be talking about? Clean shot. The clean shot. It's, it's the Graco clean shot. They call it the clean shot shut off valve. Um, I've been using them for quite a few years now. So let me see that thing. So you got your gun here. You got a gun set up here, a two finger trigger gun. Yep. And apparently you always spray with this clean shot. And so tell me why you spray with it. And apparently you call it a Swiss army knife. Yep. This is one that I've got. This, this is one out of my toolbox. I've got dozens of these. Um, we use these every time we spray within our own decorating business. We have done for a while, mainly because like you say, it's a Swiss Army knife. It's not necessarily the, the element of reducing the spit for me, it's uh, flexibility, it's the ability to get into awkward areas, but more to the point, when you get to my age. Oh, that was good, that was good. Ah, I heard you just turned 50. I did indeed. He's 50. I'm 50. We're, <laughs> well, I'm actually 52, so I got I know, I was waiting for that. So, I'm the elder here, so. I'm on it, I'm on it. So keep going, Ian. No, the idea is that when we, within the decorating business, we find that when we want to get a nice fan pad, we, we're having to bend down, you know, we're just putting a lot of stress on our back, our knees and everything else. So we wanted to find a way where we could actually just minimize things. Uh, we wanted to be more efficient. We wanted to be a little bit quicker. So what we found was that by adding the clean shot for me, it just gave me the flexibility of getting into awkward areas. And also, when I get down here, closer to the skirting, I'm just able to just bend as opposed to having to be all the way down here. Yeah. So the clean shot was really, it was designed to eliminate spits. And what happens is when you put a gun extension on a gun, the longer the gun extension is, the more spits you have. And if you're spraying walls or trim, say walls like this, these are smooth walls. What you see over here a lot is a level five finish, yeah. and you don't want to get spits on a level five finish because you're going to see that. Where I come from, we don't have level five finish walls where it's very rare. We have orange, orange peel textured walls, so spits, it's not really that big of a deal, but getting spits on your trim is a big deal. So you can either learn how to spray by not starting and stopping on your trim, or you can just throw on this clean shot right here and that's gonna eliminate it. But once again, you use it for way more things than just for yeah. your spits. What I wanna be able to do is, I just like the idea of being able to give it like a 20, 30 degree angle. So let's show that crowd right there. So, and why the heck did you just do that? Ah, I see where you go, right. So what we're talking about is the fact that, that's a mini extension knot. So when we spray, we've gotta come down, we've really gotta bend. I'm all the way down here. We still get in the spit, okay? Because the valve is at flush position. I'm not interested at this point to reduce the spit. That, that's not what I'm interested in. I just want this ability to have less fatigue on my body and a little more speed. It's just so much comfort. You know, and what I call that is painting lazy. So what you're trying to do is just make it easier on yourself. If you don't have to bend over farther, you're just not gonna fatigue your back, you're not gonna fatigue your knees, you're gonna be able to paint longer throughout the day. I race bikes, I wanna be refreshed or have a lot more energy when I get done at the end of the day to go race at the end of the day. So the less bending I have to do, the less stooping I have to do, the less fatigue my back is. So again, for me, it's at 20 to 30 percent angle, so I can actually get in. But also, we find that if I wanted to spray the trim and I wanted to get into this area here, sometimes there's a wall here, and you just you just can't get in. So you have more options. What we can do is turn the guard. Okay. Well, look at you go there. That and then what we good. do is we can turn it this way, giving us an opportunity now where the wall's there to be able to actually get in to a very awkward area. Now I understand why you called the Swiss Army. I mean, it's just crazy. When, when we spray spindles, uh, one of the things that we teach is spraying spindles as opposed to, let's say, brushing spindles. Um, the difference is when you stand this way at the spindles and you lean over, you're saving so much time and money by not having a, uh, a tower, a big ladder, you can just lean over. But the thing is, trying to get in normal with a gun or as an extension bar, it's a nightmare. So what we do, if we turn sideways, we just kink it this way. 
Oh, there you go. And what we do is we lean over, and then we're able to come up the spindle. Then you've got one spindle, so we've done one face, okay? Then we've got three more sides to do. So what we do then is we turn this, like this, and then I can go down each of the spindles like so. You look like you've used this thing a few times before. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, and also, we find that this works really well for doors, not just for the spit, but because just by giving that 20% angle there, when we actually come to spray the doors, before, we'd have to, because we want a perfect finish at the bottom as much as everywhere else. So when we come down, we'd have to be, and, and again, look, we've got the, the holes in the way, so that's pretty much going to stop us about a foot from the floor. So we just give ourselves a little bit of a kink there. So when we come down, elbow up, we're coming down, we've got a nice transfer. But no, it's just, yeah. it's a no-brainer for me. Yeah, that's absolutely amazing. So you use it, he uses it in quite a few different ways than I use it. So that's pretty cool. The point is with the clean shot, okay, is I'm just going to cheat a little bit. I'm not going to remove this one. So what we're going to do is add an extension bar, okay. But... What you would normally do, you would have the extension bar on the gun, yeah? Correct. And then what you would do is you would add the clean shot at the, at the end. Yes. Okay. So therefore, that would reduce the spit when spraying the seal. Correct. Okay. There's this, quite a few elements. The, the longer the bar, that extra weight on here, it just, for, it just, it just gets more and more fatigue. Yeah. My suggestion to you yes. would be to go to the gym. I'm always working. Well, saying that, so are you, so that's unfair. <laughs> that is unfair. Good. Right. What we do is, again, because we know that we're going to get spit, because it's an extension bar, yeah. we know we're going to get spit. Absolutely. If I don't want spit on the ceilings, trigger on, trigger off on the wall. The longer the extension bar, the bigger the, spit. The, bigger the spit. Yeah. So, I mean, the only way to not get spits at all is to have absolutely nothing on the gun. Yeah. For and me, then you'll still maybe get a spit. Okay, if I was spraying the ceiling, I'd have to spray ceiling here instantly, my neck, my back. And if, if I'm only starting out and I'm getting a little bit of overspray, because maybe the extension bar's not quite big enough, or my technique isn't quite good enough, or the pressure, I'm going to get overspray. And that overspray is going straight in my eyes. Okay, and this is, if this is an eye opener, sorry, no cliche. <laughs> if I'm spraying, I've got to spray ceiling like this. The easiest way to protect my eyes as well is to use the clean shot, give it, I don't know, 60, 70% degree, step forward. For me, I always spray a ceiling side to side, and the reason being is when I'm spraying here, you're backing away from I'm it. always backing away from the overspray. Yeah. I don't want to get covered in overspray. Um, I can also see the distance. I have a better view of how it's hitting the surface, and it's just so easy. Yeah. I mean, you tell me. It's, it, it, it's I'm going to tell you whether it's easy or not. I'll do it like him. <laughs> <laughs> and when we do get spits, if you do have a scenario where you've got to uh, blend within a ceiling, just add a second clean shot. Yeah. Or you, you could res you could save a bit of cash and uh, have a clean shot, but then you can have a swivel. Yeah. The only difference we found with swivels is they're not. They're not very taut. Uh, they have a tendency to, to maybe drop a little bit. Yeah, I think that's a, one of the biggest problems with you know, a lot of painters out there own their own company, buying tools. It's hard for them to understand the value in buying tools. And what happens is you know, a tool is going to save you money, typically yeah. within you know, the first day. And a lot of, majority of tools that you'll purchase, spend money on, they're going to pay for themselves that same day. And then after that day, they're basically free. And to me, it's really, it's a matter of in, investing in tools that's going to make you paint faster and more efficient. And being faster and more efficient is ultimately going to make you money. Yeah. And give you a better finish. And give you a better finish. And I think it's about also buying the proper tools you know, for your team, if you're the owner, to give your guys the ability to succeed. So you want to give them tools that's going to help them succeed. So give them the tools that will make the job easier and give them the better finish. This is how I typically use a clean shot. So um, Ian does things differently than me. And 
and a lot of painters do different things than, than I do. We can only give you suggestions. He gave you some suggestions of how to use it. I typically just put it on the end of an extension like that and we'll spray gutters with them to eliminate spits on gutters. I like it when I'm spraying the exterior of a house because they don't, I can just change the angle and spray down the bottom, like two feet of the house, the footings and stuff without having to bend over. I can turn it this way. I can spray the tops of the window trim on the exterior of the house. I used to climb up on a four foot ladder to do the tops of it. Now, I don't have to. I'll just mess with this, get it the right angle, and I can spray the tops of the windows. And then, it, I don't have to worry about really spits. I'm really using it for yeah. like, um, is a gun swivel. It's so, a versatility, it's crazy. But, it, but it's extremely versatile. I use it for a gun swivel, but then I also use it for eliminating spits like on gutters on the exterior of the houses. So, we well, do use them inside and outside, but once again, you can see how I use it, he uses it. It is pretty much a Swiss Army knife. It makes us a ton of money. Swiss Army should give us some money for this. <laughs> <laughs> We're really promoting this out. Maybe we should have a Swiss Army knife and show people even what it is. Um, Ask I mean, do, do, do you love a clean shot? Do you hate a clean shot? Do you love Ian or do you hate him? <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up, please. I'm begging you. Please. <laughs> Hit the notification bell, that way you get notified every time we come out with a new video. Once again, I'm waiting for Ian. Out. out. <laughs> you didn't prep me. <laughs> I don't. That's, that's the whole idea.